Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. Today, I want to talk about how to avoid depression after a breakup. My name is Coach Adrian and I've dedicated my life helping people coming out of breakup, separation or divorces to quickly bounce back. And in some time, some cases, to not only just bounce back, but to win back the heart of the one you love. Because a lot of times, relationships break down, not because you're not meant to be, but because individuals don't have the tools and the techniques to deal with issues that come up in their relationship and to deal with conflict in a constructive way. And so I've dedicated my life to help people learn about how to be in healthy relationships and learn how to communicate in order to build solid common life projects with your significant other. Ultimately, the goal though is to be happy, to be happy in your life, to be happy in love. And so this topic of how to avoid a depression after a breakup is one that is very dear to me, very close to my heart. Because many people all over the world end up in a deep state of depression after breaking up with someone that they love tremendously. And no one is immune to post-breakup depression. I've had clients that were young people, in first love in college, university, um, or just early in, in, their, in their love lives. And um, other clients who were more established, more mature, coming out of long-term relationships and marriages. Everyone can be impacted by this topic. And that's why I felt compelled to talk about post-breakup depression. Now, it is quite common to feel a deep sense of sadness, vulnerability, insecurity, and despair after a breakup. Because many times you have learned to live exclusively through your relationship. Your identity is the relationship. You, you think in terms of we, in terms of what you can do as a unit moving forward. And suddenly having to think as an individual is daunting and scary. You feel rejected, you feel not good enough. And so despair and sadness, which is quite common, can sometimes lead to a sense of depression, where you actually are consumed by negative thoughts, where you feel very lonely, you feel overwhelmed with the negativity and sadness, and your ego, your lower nature, your insistent self, basically closes up on you, and you're in this dark, dark bubble where there's no hope, and you feel like it's the end for you, as you know it. But thankfully, you don't have to be stuck in this state of despair, in this state of depression. And if you're teetering on the edge, there are things that you can do to quickly bounce back. And it's very, very important that you, number one, surround yourself with loved ones, people that actually genuinely care about you, that accept you for who you are, friends, family, relatives, acquaintances, co-workers, people that genuinely care about you will help support you in these tough times. And it's important that you take some time to hang out with them and at the same time find the right balance between not closing up completely and shutting, shutting yourself out from the world while also not overwhelming them with constant talk and badgering about your ex and how sad you are and reliving the past failed relationship. You have to force yourself to be in the present moment as much as possible. And in that sense, prayer and meditation can help. If you are not a spiritual or religious person, you can also just focus on day-to-day -day tasks, activities, stretching your comfort zone. You need to force yourself to get out of bed to leave your house, to get to work, to go to the gym, to be social. You have to force yourself to be a social human being because by nature we are social beings. And it's so easy to just wanna stay home and to not 
do anything out of a sense of despair or desperation. And that's the message of this video. It's okay, you will be okay as long as you hold yourself accountable. It is easier to just do nothing and to feel vulnerable than it is to actually seek help, seek guidance from friends and loved ones or from coaches like us. But you're watching this video and that in of itself is a very, very positive sign. It means you're seeking help and we are here to help. Don't be afraid to share your story, how you feel, what your fears are in the comment section of our video. We will be here to help you. Our team is here to provide you with answers and guidance. And please continue to be social. Live in the present moment. Stretch your comfort zone. That is how you will beat the sense of despair and overcome post-breakup depression. And before you know it, you'll be back on your feet, happy again, and in a state of mind where you can inspire the one you love to want to be with you. Because you can't guilt trip your ex into taking you back, and because it is impossible to inspire someone from a place of vulnerability and desperation. My name is Coach Adrian. We are Love Advice TV. Feel free to subscribe to our channel. Feel free to like my video if you enjoyed it. Keep fighting the good fight. Don't lose hope. Things will turn around for you. And we'll ensure that it does on this channel. Take good care and see you soon.